the, national, uh, the International Economic Development Seminar continues in Caracas, Venezuela. Cuba joined South Africa in its lawsuit at the International Court of Justice against Israel for its genocide on the Palestinian people in Gaza. Russia Foreign Ministry accused NATO of uh, generating the greatest number of threats uh, to uh, Russian security. Hello, welcome to From the South. I'm Ana Marrero from the Telesur headquarters in Caracas, Venezuela. We'll be with the news. Stay with us. The International Economic Development Seminar continues in Venezuela from the Teresa Carreño Theater in Caracas. On the second day of the event, the former president of Ecuador and economist Rafael Correa, as well as the economist Van Gan from the Development Institute of the Economic Research Institute of China, addresses topics such as economic resilience, the procedure of economies, and the procedure to strengthen the economies of the global south. I don't believe that economics is a science, it's a discipline, a sector of knowledge that can have a scientific side, but much is empiricism, much is politics, much is ideology, but there are things that are facts, whether we are from the left or right, the earth is round, whether we are from the left or right, we need to accumulate in order to develop, and to accumulate we have to save, simple as that. We need to produce more than what we consume, if you want to consume more than what you produce, that's not sustainable in time. The economy is the president of the Chinese Institute for Development and of the Economic Research Institute, Fang Gan, points out the positive role of Yin in generated public goods. Yes, it is true that China still has state-owned companies, and the government has played a positive role at all levels. The central government, the local governments, to provide the infrastructure, the industrial policies, and to generate the necessary public goods. During his participation in the International Seminar of Economic Development, the Chinese economies also said the China socialist economy is based on a mix of market model. Social security is now a must for the market economy. That's nothing special. The government generates some rules, some laws. During the macroeconomic management. And what the Chinese socialist market economy does differently is that we still have those state companies. They may not be so competitive. They basically have some kind of monopoly on natural resources or in some other specific sector. On the service sector, on the industrial sector. We mainly see the private sector. It is a combination of a socialist market economy and a mixed economy. Venezuelan so, President Nicolás Maduro highlighted the importance of the international seminar on economic development during what he called a period of the nation's construction. I believe that this international seminar on economic development came to nourish our country. During this period of construction with a new economy, which we have called a diversified economy, to satisfy the internal needs, to produce goods, products, to satisfy the Venezuelans, to produce wealth, physical and monetary wealth, so that we can fulfill the objective of the economy. In, oh, in this context, my partner, the Venezuelan government signed a series of agreements with China and strengthening bilateral relations between both countries. 
During the second international seminar on economic development held at the Teresa Carreño Theater in Caracas, the Solar Vice President Daisy Rodriguez thanked the Day Shingayan for its participation in the event. The Vice President also points out that with the signature, Venezuela could soon become a new member of the three groups of countries and contribute to the development and promotion of Latin America and the Caribbean as a powerful region. And we move on to Bolivia, where they celebrated the new Indian uh, Amazonian year at the archaeological site of uh, Tiahuacnaco. Thousands of Bolivians gathered in more than 200 ceremonial sites throughout the country to receive the first rays of the sun as a celebration of the new year. President Luis Arce, Vice President David Chukahuanca, and other members of the cabinet uh, witnessed the arrival of the year 5,532. The New Indian and uh, Chequeño year, also known as the return of the sun and dawn start, represents a new agricultural cycle for the original peoples of the Indians. The international news platform Telesurdo was recognized this Friday with the Aníbal Lozoa Journalists Award for its programs Texto en Contexto Aratamuna en Latitud Brasil. The words were presented by the Foundation of the Necessary Journalism Movement in the conjunction with the Ministry of Communication and Information in the city of Caracas. They also received two awards in the category television, uh, television to the program, one in the category television to the journalists. This achievement shows that there were dedication and commitment of the entire team in providing quality information to users worldwide. Regarding this recognition, the president of Telesur, Patricia Villegas, expressed through her account on the social network X, Grande Telesur today, our team is recognized for its work in Atomun, Text to Contexto, and Latitude Brazil. Thank you, dear the companions, for your efforts and rigor. Thank you, our users, for the permanent inspiration. Let's take a very short break, but remember you can now join us on our TikTok account as LSU English where you'll be able to see news in different formats, news updates and more. Stay tuned for more news. Welcome back to From the South. The Cuban government announced that it joins as a third state to the South African lawsuit before the International Court of Justice ICJ against Israel for the genocide suffered by the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip. Through a communicate, the Cuban Foreign Ministry indicated that it took this decision given that Israel has a flagrantly violated international norms with its actions in the legally occupied Palestinian territory of the Gaza Strip. The Prime Ministry added that the main objective is to stop the atrocities of the Israeli army against the Palestinian people. With this step, Cuba joined Chile, Nicaragua, Colombia and Mexico. Latin American states that have expressed their request to join South Africa's demand. In this context, through his social network X, the Cuban Foreign Minister Bruno Rodriguez said, Cuba has decided to participate as a third state in South Africa's lawsuit against Israel before the, the ICJ and will argue the transgression of the genocide conviction to the main judicial body of UN. We must put an end to the massacre against the people of Palestine. Likewise, the communique issued by the Cuban Foreign Ministry also stated, Israel, with total impunity protected by the complicity of the government of the United States, ignores its obligations as an occupying power under the Fourth Geneva Convention. In other paragraph, the government of Cuba emphasized genocide, upper haze, forced displacement, and collective punishment have no place in today's world, nor that they be tolerated by the international community. Justice and respect for the United Nations Charter and international law must prevail.
On Friday, Israeli shillings slaughtered at least 15 Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. 259 days since the onset of this uh, genocidal war on the civilian population, which has already left over 37,000 deaths. On Thursday afternoon, an attack by the occupation army on a house in the Saitun Saudis of Gaza City claimed the life of eight civilians who were transferred to the Batsips Hospital. Meanwhile, medical sources have reported that two citizens were killed and 12 were injured in the shelling of the house in the Nusra refugee camp, while a third citizen perished in their bala during a military ride in the city. Gaza Strip authorities denounce uh, the death of thousands of citizens in Israeli prisons after being subject to months of physical and uh, psychological uh, tortures. The authority of Palestinian prisoners and ex-prisoners offered detail that a figure is in addition to the 18 uh, citizens of the occupied West Bank who have died in the prisons of Tel Aviv since October 7, 2023. The officials also accuse the Israeli state of crimes against humanity in the prisons, the forced disappearance of the teens, and the setting up of mass graves in the facilities. Also in Palestine, the media department appealed to UNESCO to urge Israel to stop its aggression towards cultural and educational centers in Gaza Strip. Dozens of books from public and private libraries in the coastal enclave have been destroyed by the Zionist regime of Israel, including the library, the infrastructures. The media department denounced that Israel, with these crimes, tears down a part of Gaza's life, practicing an ethnic cleansing that includes the disappearance of the Palestinian historical memory of this and the spread of international ignorance. The Gaza Municipal Library, where we are now, is considered one of the most important libraries in the city of Gaza. This library included three sections, the book section, the language section and the children's section. This library had about 50,000 books and was described as the main library of Gaza City during the Israeli aggression and war. The Israeli occupation forces deliberately attacked several life elements in Gaza City, as it attacked and destroyed offices, in addition to tearing down. A library in the Rashad al Shura Center, and smashed many private and public libraries in several universities and institutions, where many libraries changed their role after being attacked in Gaza City. And UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned Friday about the consequences of the escalation of the conflict between Israel and Hezbollah on the Israeli Lebanon border. I felt compelled today to voice my profound concerns about escalation between Israel and Hezbollah along the Blue Line. Escalation in continued exchanges of fire and escalation in bellicose rhetoric from both sides as if an all-out war was imminent. The risk for the conflict in the Middle East to widen is real and must be avoided. One rash move one miscalculation could trigger a catastrophe that goes far beyond the border and, frankly, beyond imagination. Let's take our last break, but before we invite you to join us on our WhatsApp community for our English-speaking audience, you can scan the QR code on the screen to join directly and share the link to reach more people. Comes the news coverage of Latin America and the Caribbean as well as the rest of the world. Stay connected and informed with Telesur and Financial Break. Don't go away. Welcome back. Russia Foreign Ministry blamed the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, for generating the greatest number of threats to Eurasian security. The organization denounced that NATO continues maneuvers to expand and destabilize sovereign states. In this regard, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov assured that during a meeting of Foreign Ministers of the Collective Security Treaty Organization, NATO, that the threats uh, to Eurasian security emanate from different directions, but in most cases, the surge of these threats is NATO aggressive policy. 
In this sense, uh, the foreign ministry emphasized that the real intention of this uh, strategy links to its uh, east west expansion is to threaten Russia, China, North Korea, countries that the U.S. and its satellite nations consider to be their adversaries. The French Democratic Confederation of Labor Rate Trade is rejection to the far right in view of its regressive department advances. The General uh, Security Secretary of the Union, uh, Marcel Leon, uh, affirms that uh, she opposes uh, to the extreme right projects of the inequality and its uh, protection of uh, classifying, uh, classifying social classes. In this sense, uh, the organization urged uh, its uh, 600,000 members to vote in favor of the left blocs, uh, the Popular Front, uh, formed by the socialists and the ecologists. The rejection comes ahead of the first round of the legislative elections in which uh, the National Rally Party aspires uh, to achieve uh, the absolute majority and claims the uh, Prime Minister the position. And China blames the European Union for uh, parking a possible trade war uh, due to increased uh, tensions following the implementation of sanctions. So Beijing uh, reaffirms its uh, commitment to world trade organization rules and calls uh, on the European Union to moderate its use of uh, trade uh, countermeasures. Uh, government uh, representative state that so far this year that the regional bloc has introduced. Rwandan President Paul Kagame de declared that his country was ready to go to war with the Democratic Republic of Congo is uh, necessary. The statement made during an exclusive interview with France 21 follows Congolese President Felix Dikshidi's uh, accusation that Rwanda was organizing a genocide in the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Kagame, for his part, uh, responds uh, to the accusations uh, claiming that Dikshidi uh, was uh, promoting a genocidal ideology against uh, Congolese uh, Tutsi. That this the case, the decades of land conflict in eastern Congo has produced one of the world's worst humanitarian crises, with over the 100 armed groups of fighting in the region, most for lands and control of the mines with valuable minerals. And the government of Nigeria revoked the licenses of the French multinational nuclear fuel company Urano as a part of the measures implemented by the break ties with Paris. The mining ministry of the African country had warned of the possibility of revoking the licenses of work if work has not started before June the 19th, claiming that a measure follows the nation's security interests. After the end of the accusation, a representative of the French state-owned company regretted the order to withdraw from the mine of Unororem after the 50 years of exploitation used to an enjoyment of the production. changing topics. In Peru, world race walking champion Kimberly Garcia becomes uh, the hope of her country for an Olympic medal at the Paris 2024 Games. Garcia won the 20 kilometers and 35 kilometer race uh, walks at the 2022 World Championships in a UN in the United States, becoming the first ever Peruvian world medalist of the event and the first Latin American to earn the two titles in the same edition. After contemplating a a retirement due to an unfavorable performance in Tokyo 2020, the march is uh, persisted in this sport and in 2023 won the 20 kilometers Pan American gold medal in Santiago. This were highlighting that the last time a Peruvian claimed uh, a podium in the Olympics was in Barcelona in 1992. Therefore, Garcia emerged as the main hope for the South American nation to break the 3 2 year drought at the July 26 Games. The expectations are very high. I wouldn't say I just want the gold medal, and that's it. Whether it's gold, silver, or bronze, it will always be well received. As long as I get on the podium, I think I will be very happy. I mean, I don't want to lie and tell you that I will be fine with a fourth or fifth place, because that will be disappointing for me. 
The president of the Confederation of African Football, Patrice Motseb, announced on Friday that the next African Cup of Nations have come to be held in Morocco was rescheduled to be played from December 21, 2025 to January 18, 2026. The decision was announced during a CEF virtual executive committee meeting at their headquarters in Cairo, where the Monsef had explained that the dates had been moved to avoid a crash with other football's international events, differently from the four yearly European Championship. Copa America and Asian Cup, the outcome is held early two years because it delivered mass of the CAF revenue. We have come to the end of this news brief, but before, let's watch a clip of the unique concern in support of peace, freedom, and justice for Palestine offered today by musical league legends Roger Waters and Cat Stevens, the company with rapper Loki, as well as other special guests who joined this initiative. From the Lesser English and from the South, Amanda Marrero, thank you for watching. Hey, bald man, I have a question. As one of many victims, tell me why. A failed, fat fucking landlord has been chosen to decide who should live and who should die. Sweetheart, there's a reason you come in here. I know I was just putting on my dancing shoes with the right set of moves. We can turn this ship around. Together we can write. Tomorrow's nose.